Welcome back to <laughs> our third video on plans and elevations, presentation drawings. All right, and this, on this last video, we finished up to step 10. Step 11 is shadows. And shadows are, are different. But the nice thing about shadows is that they're very consistent and they just don't change because we don't shadow to artificial light sources. So it doesn't matter where the, where the windows are on the room, where the light fixtures are all in the room. We pick an architectural rendering or design rendering. We only choose one light source. That light source always comes from the top left at a 45 degree angle. So anytime we do shadows, we need a 45 degree triangle. And I've developed a worksheet and I will attach it onto this assignment just so that you have a little reference point. But in plan view, in two dimensional drawing, we don't take into the account of the height of an object. That will do when we get into perspective or three dimensional drawing. So we try to keep it as simple as possible. And because it's coming straight down from an angle, all of our, so if it's top left, our shadows are going to be bottom right, bottom right at a 45 degree angle. So I'm gonna do the bed first. Now to keep your, because we don't have a table, keep the bottom of your triangle, even with the bottom of the page, or the side of the page. And we're gonna use our pencils and we're going to lightly from each corner, pull out a 45 degree angle. Now, when we're doing two dimensional drawings like plans, elevations, etc., we're going to use the standard depth of a shadow of one quarter of an inch. So you can just measure one quarter. That's not to scale, that's just a straight quarter of an inch. And we're going to lightly give some guidelines on that particular object. Now we know we're gonna have a little bit of shadow right up against our bed. We're gonna have a little bit right here up against our pillows. Let's put a shadow from the outside corner down one quarter of an inch and the other side. The other coffee table comes down and comes down. We can measure a quarter of an inch and you can use your quarter inch if that works best for you. And then a quarter inch out. Now, when we have an object at an angle, we still, our light is still coming down at a 45 degree angle. So it still comes down with our 45 degree from the bottom right hand side. Now the back shadow is going to be much smaller. So when we measure, we wanna make sure that we measure the largest side. And then where, so this shadow is coming off of this arm. So it's from that angle that our shadow is created because it's the arm that's creating the shadow. Where it crosses our 45 degree line, we go parallel to the edge of the back in this case. Now this is square to our object and a quarter of an inch out. And then we're going to have a shadow. This arm is going to create a shadow. So it's gonna come out a quarter of an inch and it's going to, I, on arms, I, I tend not to make them quite as big, but that's just an arbitrary statement. Now, on our elevations, in this particular case, if the, if our light source is here and coming down, we won't get a shadow on the wall. It would have to be out here to throw a shadow on the wall. But since it's from the side, all of these shadows are on 
the floor. So we don't see any in this particular elevation. All right, so when we do shadows, so I have them all blocked out with my pencil, as you can see, and I'm gonna use my double lot five pin, and we are going to put horizontal lines very, very, very close together. So not black, we're just gonna space them. And we're simply, oops, I can take that all the way to the bed, can't I? Yep, that goes all the way to the bed, and that will create a shadow under the bed right there. So nice and close, just following my guidelines. So my shadow is always horizontal. All of our shadows are always horizontal. So this shadow combines with the shadow from the bed. And then we start to hit the 45 degree angle from our guideline and from the bed goes down so we have this little L shaped. Keep these nice and crisp. Don't go choo -choo 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 -choo. that's not a shadow. Individual lines that stop and start at our guideline. from this corner all the way across all the way across try not to let those lines cross one another and we just do them right over the top of our texture to create our shadow Just like that. All right, now let's do this one. Again, we're working horizontal. And if you need to put some horizontal guidelines in, go ahead and do so. If that makes it easier for you to kind of keep control. Down to that end, then our shadow behind. So we're gonna go all the way to the back and then we'll have a shadow all the way across the back for this unit. One quarter inch out, 45 degree angle. And the last shadow is on our chair. And the chair is not as high as the chest of drawers, so our shadow stops at the chest of drawers, just like that. All right, so those are our shadows. We don't have any shadows going on up here. All the shadows are down on the floor and we can't see them. So we've taken this as far as we're going to take it. So the next thing that we need to do is to write our titles. And I'm going to go back to my smaller triangle to write. And we called this the bed wall view. And we called this our plan. view and remember this is an eighth of an inch high using our best lettering 
All right, so those are our two titles. Now we have to put on a page title and we use our standard sheet title format. So that is one inch up, one inch up, one inch over, and one inch over. And I'm gonna put in a very light guideline. Then above my guideline, I'm gonna go up an eighth of an inch and then a quarter of an inch, an eighth of an inch, and then a quarter of an inch. Down below for my name, it's an eighth of an inch and an eighth of an inch, and an eighth of an inch and an eighth of an inch. And I'm very lightly putting in my guidelines, as soft as you can possibly see them is where you want them to be. So just like that. So the name, oops, let me put in my line first. And remember, I always do my line with my sign pen. Stop at the one inch point. My flare pen and the name of this Assignment is Plans and Elevation. And that might run out, so I'm gonna to, to I'm going to call that presentation drawings. right out to the end. Presentation drawing, and then my name, and my pilot, my best handwriting. We went to all this work. We want it to look really nice. Oops. Chuck Cooper. So this is what our completed drawing will do. I would let it dry for a little bit and then I'd come back and I'd remove any of the, um, any of my guidelines that I might've put in just a little too heavy. If I got them too heavy. Getting rid of some of my guidelines here. Oh, you know, I just saw something that I missed. Our lampshade. And I'm just gonna do it really, really teeny. But our lampshade in here, I'm gonna go ahead and put a shadow in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a shadow, not a big one, probably not a, a full quarter of an inch but just a little one there. And that will really make that pop just a little bit. Alrighty, so erase. You'll want to pull it off of the master sheet. Put it on a clean sheet of white paper and line it up nicely. And photograph it or scan it and go ahead and submit it to your assignment. So that's the completed assignment for presentation drawings, plans, and elevations.